Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Dr. Nicholas Riley, and I will be your narrator for my very own recreation of Shakespeare's Macbeth. In my reenactment, it starts off after Lady Macbeth kills herself, and it's the fight between Macbeth, Malcolm's army, and Macduff. So without further ado, sit back, relax, and enjoy the film. Well, 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 if it isn't Macduff, the prophecy is upon us. Macbeth, I've been looking all over for you. How dare you kill the king to be king? You killed my family and my friends. That's not the only thing I killed. I killed Banquo. I killed the king. I killed young Seaward. And now, I'm going to kill you. But, I'm pissed. My wife killed herself. This war needs to end. I've, the witches told me to fear you, but now that I see you, there's nothing fearsome about you. I've been looking for you all day. This will be pleasing. Hey guys, so before the fight actually starts, I'd like to point out that in the background there should be a mob of soldier Malcolm's army holding the tree branches from the Benham Bengham forest and evidently the forest is actually moving so that's one of the prophecies that the witch was saying so that's one of his weaknesses keep that in mind <coughs> 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 Very good, Macduff. Malcolm would be proud of you. Only one problem, though. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but a person born of a woman can't harm me! Ugh! Only one problem, Macbeth! I was born at C-section, baby! I know it! <laughs> For the king. Alright, so, as you just saw, Macduff beheads Macbeth, and therefore Malcolm Cra reclaims the throne, and everyone in Scotland lives happily ever after. Thank you for watching my video, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.